Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new here, my name is Tammy. Welcome. So today, you guys, I'm gonna be trying out the Curl Box collaboration with Ulta Beauty, um, the hair products that they carry at Ulta Beauty, and I pick up their their collaboration, and I'm really excited to give it a try. Sorry for the crustiness. That's because I'm literally gonna get started in trying this product and then come back and kind of share my thoughts on each product. For those that don't know, you know, this is not a sponsored video. I've always done a lot of videos on Curlbox and some of the products that I purchased from them when I was subscribed to them and when I didn't subscribe when they offer non-subscription boxes. This, I believe, is a non-subscription box, which is why I got this. I don't buy all of it. Whichever one that I just feel like I would like to try is what I would try. Anyways, this box has a couple of products in it. I'm just gonna show it to you what I'm gonna be using for my wash day today. So I'm gonna go through all six briefly. I think it was like maybe $30 in total plus shipping. This is the main choice. Yeah, this is the main choice shampoo. It's the Main Choice Pow Shampoo. Flaunts a nutrient rich blend of soothing herbs like marshmallow and burdock root to cleanse strands. So this I'll be using to wash. And then I have the Main Choice Pow Conditioner. Okay. And this one is also, it says gives curls a powerful dose of herbal moisture that delivers a super slip with incredible shine. So that's the conditioner that I'll be using. And then this has, it also comes with a leave-in conditioner. I actually have this. This is a mixed chicks leave-in conditioner. I'm sorry if the, uh, if my, it's too bright, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. And it's an OG styler that del delivers lightweight defined curls with soothing evening primrose oil, jojoba oil, and silk amino acid. I'll make sure to work through wet hair on set under a hooded dryer or air dry. I've actually purchased, this is a smaller size, but a bigger size of this. And I actually gave it away because I didn't like the way it worked, but maybe I wasn't do, using it the right way at the time. So I'm going to try it again for as a leave-in with my styling. And then um, what's next? There is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Deep Moisture Mask. I definitely, I'm looking forward to trying this. This is a hair mask. It's kind of like a deep conditioner. And I always deep condition my hair on every single wash day. Next item in here. This is the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Scalp Soother. Relieves tension and cares for your natural hair and scalp while wearing wigs and weave. And then the last item is Pattern Beauty Stronghold Gel. Contains sea moss, aloe vera, and chai seed that nourishes and sleek textures that need extra hold i hope it doesn't flake on me so i'll be back and check in with you all as far as each step of the way as much as i can i'm gonna go wash my hair using the main choice shampoo and then i'm gonna condition use a rinse i'm gonna actually use this as a rinse out conditioner it says after cleansing work through into wet hair especially the ends leave in hair for three to five minutes then rinse well with cool water so i'm gonna be using both of these in shower and then i'll come back out hopefully to be able to do this in front of the camera. All right, guys, I'm back. I have washed my hair. Wanted to kind of talk to you guys briefly about what I think of this too. Now, <laughs> this is not my first time using a Mint Choice brand. I have used a couple of their other, like I think their original line and they were just also okay. But my idea, my thoughts and review about this, the only thing I like about this too is the smell. They remind me of starburst candy it smells exactly like the blueberry you know flavored one it's heavily heavily scented so if you're not into you know heavily scented products this is not for you then if you're into uh, heavily scented stuff or you know products that smell really good but doesn't give exactly what you're asking for then i mean it's up to you to spend your money on it but i do not like this at all I will use it up, but I will definitely not purchase this again. Reason being the, the shampoo, while it is cleaning, it is really stripping. Should have pre-put, but I, I don't really have that time, man. I don't feel like I needed to, but I wanted to give a true trial for this and give it a true use. And I used it uh, the exact follow direction, which is wetting my hair first to, with warm water, like, like it says, and then squeezing. It says squeeze a small amount. 
you don't need a lot actually which i realized once you wet your hair and you apply and what i did was apply it to every scalp hair, hair scalp and i literally used my own hand without sh without using gloves this time around so i can feel for you know the product and everything it does lather up really really well but it is stripping that's just all i can say about that is stripping period um, but if you want to prevent that stripping feel, you can definitely pre-poo with like oil of some sort. That way your hair doesn't feel, you know, stripped. If that's the only word I could use, stripped. And then what I did was I started with this side, washed this side. Then I applied the sh shampoo, I mean the conditioner in my hair, um, which says after cleansing, work thoroughly into wet hair. My hair was dripping wet and then leaving for five, three to five minutes. Overall had at least, at least 10 to 15, almost 15 minutes in there because I spent a lot of time in the shower anyway. Rinsing out the conditioner, I want to say the shampoo did not give any slip for, at all, like zero slip at all. I'm glad that I used my hand. Yes, you know, I didn't use any kind of tool comb or brushes and then for the shampoo for the conditioner there was no slip applying it and then there was no slip after it's been in my hair especially this side i wanted to make sure that it was in you know it was in my hair much longer so i could see the difference of when i applied it the first time and then after wash you know having it sit in there for a couple of minutes and then rinsing it out and it was no difference it was just just there so i can't really give this out of one out of five five being the best point i would give this a 2.4 2.5 ish mainly because it smells really really good if it was candy i'd definitely eat it but um that's it there's nothing much i could say about um what i get from it i guess maybe i could say the shampoo did clean my hair like it my hair is definitely clean so i don't see any residue any you know dirt or no itchiness anymore. So I'm gonna now move along to applying the con the deep conditioner in my hair. It's pretty thick, so not moving. So I'm hoping this will help rev put some moisture into my hair. So I like the fact this has, it has almond and avocado in it. So this sounds really good. So let's get started. I'm just gonna do this one side on camera and then off camera finish up the rest. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. If you have not given this video a like yet, please do give it a like and also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Um, I do have videos and I try to do makeup videos. I haven't been getting on that, but I will sooner or later. And yeah, but I hope you're enjoying this so far. And let's get to this. Let's get to work. So my hair is still very, very wet. I like the way it smells. It, it doesn't have a heavy smell like the main choice shampoo and conditioner does. There's a light scent to it, and I like that. As far as slip goes, I think it has enough slip so far. Once it's penetrates into my strands, I will have a better opinion about, you know, how well it got into my hair strands, you know, hair shaft. But for now, I like the way it feels. It feels nice. All right, so this is the product in my hair. It has a nice slip. It's, it's pretty nice. I like the way, you know, I mean, my hair is pretty detangled. It's actually hand detangled i have not used any tools like at all this is it in my hair i'm gonna do the rest of my hair and i'll be back after i use the heating cap for my hair because it looks like the rain is about to pour <laughs> okay i just wanted to quickly say something um i don't know what it is but i'm seeing like a couple of clumps like this this thing here these are like clumps of i don't know what they are i'm feeling them in my hair so i'm taking them out oops my son is in the bathroom <laughs> okay have a seat go to the room yeah so i don't know what those are but i'm hoping i if the, if i miss any it would melt from the heat in my hair but this is the last part of my hair I'm applying the conditioner in, but the deeper I get, the more clumps I feel. And uh, just wanted to point that out. Ah. All right, guys, so I'm done We're washing out the Design Essentials Wash Day Deep Moisture Mask. I've washed it out now, and I have to say, I am very, very impressed with this deep conditioner. But this is my my see so okay good to know this is coming 
you guys see this white stuff here yeah that is from the oh look at that those were the clumps i was talking about that i found see this this white thing it's a clump of something from that i was showing you earlier that was in this deep conditioner all right guys so i just rewashed or re-rinsed it not washed rinsed it again over so that um i make sure that all the clumps and whatnot is out sorry again about the lighting it's probably going to be going in and out anyway so i have washed it out it does feel much cleaner now no what ah god help me yeah so this is something that i don't know if i would like to experience or anyone to experience there's some those white clumps uh i don't think you can get rid of it unless maybe if someone is applying it into your hair but at least i tried my best to make sure they aren't much ah yeah those white clumps are something that i would take a point off or two off i like that it makes my hair soft you know i love the way my hair feels my hair feels really nice and detangled like i didn't use any tool throughout the whole process of applying this and my hair feels so fluffy and so nice and so soft and just easily manageable now for styling yeah, i will be using the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner along with this pattern gel um gel which is a stronghold you know updo and i'll just show you pretty much the end result all right so since i already started using this brand which is the main choice i have the main choice oil growth oil i will use that in my scalp for this video i'm not gonna use that shea moisture one i'm just gonna oil my scalp and then i'll be back to start styling the direction for this is work a generous portion of mixed cheeks throughout wet hair apply on wet or dry hair so okay now i'm going in with the pattern gel it's a really thick gel put it on the back okay guys so i have pretty much sort of done the best i can with um i guess putting the gel in my hair i just want to show you guys that this hair i mean the gel is already flaking i can literally see white at the tips of my hair and I think you guys should be able to see it too because it's a lot and it's there so I am already anticipating I'm very sure this is gonna be full of flakes all right guys so this is Monday today is Monday I tried washing this out in the shower and look I just washed and tried to wash and look at what this thing just left it left so much white residue in my hair i'm just so irritated i will never ever use this again ever never ever ever learn from this look at that i have to go wash rinse it out again and again it's quite frustrating but at least it's a teaching teaching moment and the fact, the fact that they mixed they put um, all those products together it's like i would expect those two combination of the leave-in conditioner and the gel to work but they don't work as you can see they do not work i don't know what they were thinking but this doesn't work you, you, I, they, no this is enough for me just checking in you got white stuff all over so i'm gonna stop touching my hair um yeah so i just wanted to kind of check in real quick and let you all know for me anyway this is not gonna work and i would never use that gel or that leave-in conditioner in my hair again okay so i want to just show you guys this thing that i made or kind of i saw it on instagram and i just sort of created it you know those donut net thingy this things right here let me show you guys yeah this so what i did was bought some crochet hair and then just crocheted it all over all around and this i can always reuse and however much i want i don't have to pin it in my like skull <laughs> So it doesn't hurt and another thing is i could also use a bobby pin to hold it down if i'm gonna like be doing a lot of running around the sizes that i got i got this only this size so there was a smaller size to this and then a bigger size so i'm gonna say this is a medium size and i got it from the, the beauty supply store i don't have the packaging but it's one of those donut nets thing and you could just crochet the hair around it and then just so what i do is i try to find the hole by putting my hand in here you can see my hand here and then find my my own hump of hair and try to you know wear it in between that as much as i can it's pretty tight right now because it's still really new so as you can see 
it stays on. But I mean, if I want to secure it a little bit more, I have a bobby pin and I could just take it and pin it into my ponytail. And I don't actually feel it because it's literally right into my ponytail. And I could do it on the other side here and it'll stay. And I'm not going to manipulate it too much because I want to be able to use this over and over and over again as much as I can. But this is kind of the look I'm trying to go for. There we go. You guys see this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is pretty nice. This will be my final, technically my final look, but it is in my hair. I'm shaking. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is really, really cute. I like this style. I can rock this for like a week or two. But yeah, get into the hairstyle. I mean, let me know if you guys, what you guys think of this video. What you guys think of um, the hairstyle, the products. If you've ever used any main choice products, what which one you like out of all the products i like is just the the only thing i like is the deep conditioner really and even with that there were clumps but you can actually wash those out like you guys saw it was just a few clumps but it was fine thank you all so much again for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like by you know hitting the thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye